Hello, welcome back. We are playing darts again tonight. So we're playing against the home guard. This is our last match of the first half of the season. So after this, every single person we play against, we would have played once before. Uh, and we're away, so we're going over there today. We're going to go have a practice at Pop Black. But yeah, it should be good. But yeah, we're going to go have a practice. I've really neglected practicing this week. I'll probably end up playing really well, to be fair. That's normally how it works, isn't it? But we are getting there a little bit earlier than we normally would, about 45 minutes earlier. I just need a good practice today, to be honest. Good warm up. There is a practice board at tonight's venue, but it's not really one you can use while there's a game going on, so. If you get drawn at the end, you have to play cold. So it kind of is what it is, but if I can get a good practice before we get there, then it'll be fine. And a few beers as well, so that always helps. Also, Mark is back tonight as well. So he's been on holiday, so has Kurt actually, but Kurt only went away for a, like a, a, a short week. Um, but Mark's back, so the team is going to be the same as last week, but Carl is not playing. The one who played in the pairs last week, uh, he's not playing, and uh, we're going to replace him with Mark. So it should be a good night. We should get a win, I think, at the very least a draw, but we should we should should get a result out tonight. And then we'll go into the uh, the second half of the season. Should be second, should be comfortably second. Well, actually, I'm thinking about next week's game. So I'm not around next week, but the team that we beat in the cup last week, we've got them in the league. So I'm not going to be about. I'm off to go play in the like the TikTok pro-am thing in Blackburn. So there will be a video for that. It's me, me and Conan Whitehead. So I'm not about next week, so there won't be any of this next week. There will be a different different video, but the week after that, we've got a buy as well. So yeah, it'll be a couple, couple of weeks off this, but oh well, let's hope we win tonight. So tonight we're using some slightly different flights. We're using the K-Flexes, but we have a really nice blue color. So these are like just ever so blue. They're just slightly off-white, which I'm super happy to use. Uh, I made them today. If you want to know how to do this, I made a video about it the other day. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but yeah, it's going to give them a throw and see how they go. I've not thrown them yet, so hopefully they go fine. And I'm not put off by the blue because I don't have anything else. I've only got blue. I've got lots and lots of blue. Okay, so the draw for tonight. First on is Ben. Following Ben, we have got Mark Kerr. After Mark, it is going to be Kurt Bevan. After Kurt, we have got Richard Sherratt, or Dickie, as we like to call him. Following Dickie is Kyle Bloomfield, which means that unfortunately, I am on last, which is not the greatest place in the world, but not awful. I'll take it. Anyway, let's start the games. So the first game we had Ben Ross. He was playing in his in the first game and Ben did all right. It was a win, which is what we like to see. We just need to just get wins. That's all it is. Very, very simple. Just get some wins. Ben missed a few darts to win the match, but he does come back and he does finish off the match nice. So Ben won this game 3-1. He wasn't terribly happy with it by his uh, body language and stuff, but a win's a win. It's, it, it, it's, it's good for the team, it means a lot for the team, and uh, yeah. So anyway, either way, whether he, whether he was happy with how he played or not, a win is a win. It, wasn't, it, was, it was a difficult game, you know, it's one of those games where people just didn't play their greatest. It kind of like, you know when you play against someone else and they don't play very well and then it makes you not play very well and it's just one of those games. But anyway, a win's a win. 3-1 to Ben, good start to the day. Up next is... Mr. Love Darts himself, Mark Kerr. So Mark did hit a few good scores in this game. He played pretty well. 
a few 140s in this one. He'd just come back from a from like two weeks away on holiday as well. So to come back, play all right and win is pretty good actually, it, it, regardless of how you win it. Two 140s, 3-0 victory. You've, you've got to be happy with that regardless, especially after having two weeks off. So yeah, we'll definitely take that. Well done, Mark. And uh, yeah, he played pretty well. It was good stuff. It was like steady darts the whole way through. Played all right. Finished it off. Nice. 3-0 victory. What can you say? Happy days. Very, very good. Well done, Mark. Up next, we have got Kurt Matador Darts Bevan. He is currently undefeated in the league. Uh, this is his first three of the match. He kicks off with an 81. But his opponent was a pretty good dart player. Like, he played very, very well. You'll see in this, he, he just didn't miss a lot. And every time he went for an outshot, it kind of went in. So, unfortunately, there's a big 140 there from his opponent. Unfortunately, the undefeated streak is over the darts referee gets out of the way you're supposed to be filming this apparently i just decided i didn't want to didn't want to film my own video um yeah so one nil down kurt brings it back to one one uh in the third leg you can see ton ton 85 ton ton to leave 16 like that's good darts that is very very good darts and he goes out uh in 18 darts so fair play 18 darts, I think it's 18, yeah, 15 darts thrown, 18 darts to go out, and then in the final leg, Kurt's now 2-1 down, he leaves 112, and it goes, well played, like, you can't argue with that, that's just good, that's just very, very good, I think it's another 18 dart leg as well, I think that's 15 darts thrown and gone out, 18-18, last two legs, what can you do? Next up, it was Dicky. he played against one of their players, so, so far, at the moment, we are... 2-1 down or 2-1 up um with three games to go so we need to win two out of the last three to win the match or one out of the last three to get a draw dicky actually played reasonably well he had i think he had like a dart or two and in, in every leg it just they just didn't go out like it's just one of those games like his opponent was always like right there and it was just one of those but yeah he has a few darts here at the double double eight but doesn't go and his opponent does end up going out in this game so after the dicky match we are 2-2 so we currently have kyle on last uh kyle on next sorry and then i'm on last and we need to win both games to win the match or we need to win one out of the two matches just to at least get a point out of this game now this team i must admit i don't know how this team are like second from bottom in the league they were a really really strong side they were like i was impressed with them but anyway cue carl's game and the sickest edit you've ever seen it starts with one I don't know why, it doesn't even matter how hard you try Keep that in mind, I'm designed this rhyme to explain in due time All I know, time is a valuable thing Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings Watch it count down to the end of the day The clock takes life away, it's so unreal Didn't look out below, watch the time go right out the window Trying to hold on, to didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you go I kept everything inside and even though I tried I can 
Okay, there we have it. That was Carl. He won. They come from 2-1 down. So this is me now. I'm now playing the first leg. I survived two two leg darts at double eight. Um, I didn't play particularly great, to be honest. Um, in this one, I want 46. I'm going like 10 or a 6. Keep it nice and simple. And we hit a treble 10. But fortunately, we didn't miss. So we went out. Nice stuff. Great. Brilliant. Fantastic. 1-0 up. This is the last game decider as well. In this leg, I do get a little bit, little bit nervy. I want, uh, I want 72. I went for treble 16, hit a treble 7, which leads 51. So we're looking at a nice big 11. I, I must have taken a while to compose myself in that one because that dart took ages. Missed tops to go 2-0 up, uh, but we're we're a good we're a good chunk ahead. Opponents on like 220. So I want double 10. That was a very very nervy dart. That was not great, but it was okay. And that is absolutely dreadful. I mean, a big two to lead double nine. Um, yeah, I don't know if I was just nervous or not, but we ended up coming back, hit the double nine. <sighs> two nil up. We just need one out of the next two legs. Uh, three legs. One, just one. Just one leg. I leave 200 in this leg. Hit a big one, which was not ideal. Went for a 19, and I'm thinking, right, leave 160. Hit a treble three, fortunately, because a single three wouldn't let the finish. 170 left. Can we hit the big, big the big fish? Uh, the first dart is absolutely miles away, but we did tidy it up really, really nicely with a nice 134 to leave ourselves 36. That's like the best dart I threw all day, to be honest. I, I, even practicing, I wasn't playing very well today. Maybe I should really practice this week or next week or whenever that would probably be a good idea but double 18 to win the match how many darts did it take me just the one just the one we got the dub happy days let's go very good win 4-2 i managed to do the business last on which is lovely because i don't often do the business last on but yeah we'll take that that's a very good win next week they are at home to the potback others uh, to the Morton Hall others but I'm not about I'm playing in the TikTok Pro-Am so I won't be there in the week after the buy so this is going to be it for a few weeks for the uh, for the league but thanks for watching I really appreciate it we'll be back when we when we're back see you later <laughs>